Hi, I'm Brandi Agger, back of Loosetooth.com, and uh, I just recorded a Studio Tuesday video for February 12th, and uh, I realized, I was like, okay, let's go back to vacationing and back to traipsing around New York. Today, we're going to go to MoMA. Um, I realized that uh, there was more to say on the subject about finding your own style and copying and all that good stuff, and so I just thought, heck, record it now. So uh, if you do not know what the heck I'm talking about, go back and watch the Studio Tuesday video, which basically was inspired by a really fantastic co coffee clatch with Sam Brad, a wonderful beloved colleague and friend of mine from Vancouver. And um, so we're talking about style and learn finding your own style, learning, copying, when is it good, when is it bad, you know, when are you a jerk? When is it okay? All that kind of stuff. And in the previous video, I talked about how we should give ourselves more time to muck around on our own before we start learning from others more explicitly or copying folks. Because again, it's this magical time to just kind of like solve things for yourself. And and because because again, I think that's when we get the most originality. And it's this it's this this time that you only have at the beginning. So it's like use it. Use that beginner's mind. Use that like complete lack of context because you're going to come up with really fantastic things instead of the same things other people are doing over and over again. So that's kind of a quick synopsis of that. Now, I wanted to tell a story, and forgive me, I didn't, I haven't explicitly talked to the person, uh, one of the subjects in this, so it's going to be anonymous. But basically, uh, we had a conference in Denmark last year, uh, UVIS. And one of my lab partners, meaning somebody who joined me in my three-day workshop called The Lab, drew one of the sessions and they used a large central figure in their drawing. So there's like a big person in the drawing. And uh, a couple different friends of mine came up and they're like, he's copying you. I don't like it. <laughs> and it was like, no, he's learning from me. That's good. Okay, now at least you know the gender of the person. And he probably knows exactly that we're talking about him, oh, whatever. So, <laughs> so, um, uh, and I'm like, no, he's learning from me. He's fantastic. This is not like, you know, I mean, believe me, there's jerk wads who copy me and I'll tell you about that in a second. But in this case, it was somebody who came to, came to the lab, joined me in the lab, learned from me. And, you know, as a teacher, that's the absolute most gratifying thing that can happen is they listened, they learned, they made it their own. That's the key distinction. And so that's, you know, the question Sam asked me was he, you know, referenced somebody who was a jerkwad and, and stole, you know, basically copied my style and it was really gross. And he says, well, how is that? How is the gross jerkwad thing different from what this other person was doing? And I said, that's the, the distinction is this person was copying the style without any sense of why I draw that way. Like no sense of structure, no sense of integrity, no sense of why that functions that way. It's it truly is just a copycat. The the colleague I'm talking about um, from Uviz last year. Now this totally different situation. You know I explicitly taught him this technique because it's so darn useful. And let me step back one second. What when I did have to have a conversation with myself when I was writing the idea shapers about whether I shared that specific technique or not that specific you know way of working meaning the large central figure in the drawing because I do absolutely recognize that that is part of my signature uh, that's definitely you see that and you go brandy and I, that's a good thing that's a very good thing business-wise differentiation all that good stuff and so I had that conversation I you know with myself about like all right are you going to put a little bit of the secret sauce in this book? You know, because it is your your thing. And, um, and again, this conversation happens time and again in the lab when people say, I'm trying to find my style, but I don't want to copy you. I don't want to be the gross jerkwad. I want, you know, I want, where, where are the lines, right? So, you know, and specifically in this, in the lab, in the previous experiences, I would always say, you know, use this technique. Here's why you want to use this technique. Here's why it's so useful, but make it your own figure, make it your own thing. And, um, and so that's exactly what this colleague was doing at UBiz. Um, and so the, um, hey, hon, I'm recording. Hello. Okay. <laughs> So that's exactly what this colleague was doing. And, um, and again, it was grat very, very, for me, very, very gratifying to see. So Sam asked, what's the difference between the jerkwad copying and this person using this technique? And I said, the thing is that, like I said, that person's copying the style and this person has learned. 
They're, they've come to this source, me as the source, and learned why it's so useful. And that is exactly why I ended up putting it in the Idea Shapers, into the Idea Shaper called the Integrator, because it's such a great integrate, like a great technique for integrating information and humanizing the drawing. So I did decide to give that piece of that, you know, that that bit of secret, secret sauce, put it in the Idea Shapers, teach it in the lab, get it out in the world, because it has such an important function. And if I held on to that and said, no, 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 this is mine, it would be really, you know, what, what's, what's the greater good in that, right? I'm still gonna be me and be, you know, the best me I can be. And that's, you know, absolutely something that came up uh, in the conversation and I referenced in the last video is that all the teaching I do is not about creating Brandy clones at all. I really value your own integrity, my own integrity, your originality, your authenticity, what you're going to do with what I can teach you. You know, again, it's not about here's here, here are the steps to become me because I got that covered, right? Like you don't want to do that. <laughs> it's not, it's not as easy as I make it look. <laughs> Be you, please, 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 please. So, um, so that was the distinction was that the person at UViz who was using the large central figure was using it with integrity because they knew how it worked. They knew why you used it. And that's exactly what I want. So um, hopefully that distinction makes sense. I think a lot of times people just kind of like copy the style and they think, oh, I'm getting this, you know, I don't know what they think. It's like, it's this very weird kind of like, oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, mm, I don't get it. <laughs> you know, again, I, I, you know, spent all that time in isolation developing my own style. I do come from a fine arts background, so I absolutely very highly value originality more than I more than a lot of my colleagues and I, I get that but um I you know you just want to use oh, I see people who do like think they're gonna I don't know what they think they're gonna get because it's just it's not authentically them you can see it even if you don't know my work I feel like it's like transmitted in the like ugh. anyway <sighs> do your own thing please do your own thing I am very happy to be here to teach you but I want you to be your best you. I will certainly do everything I can do to create resources that help you learn these skills. And, you know, and believe me, I like knowing my stuff. <laughs> you know? I like being good at this. I like, um, I, I love, you know, being in front of clients and being able to do this for them. But, you know, my own personal shift in my work is, while that has been very gratifying and it has been a great 22 year career, I'm way more excited about the next 22 years, the next 22, get the inflection right, I'm more excited about the next 22 where it really is about teaching and more and more people building these skills for themselves. So, um, so that's a little bit more about that idea of what is copying versus learning. Um, and again, it's about knowing why something works the way it works. And that is exactly the place I teach from is I'm not gonna just tell you, hey, this is, you know, the days I'm getting frustrated about our field, um, and I mean broadly visual thinking, um, is, you know, when I see folks where it feels like they're teaching people how to copy circles. And it's just like, ugh, I don't know. And the, ugh, I don't know. It's because it's about, it's only about the drawing aspect of visual thinking. It's not about the listening. It's not about the thinking. It's not about all these things around facilitation, even if you're not specifically a graphic facilitator, about in being in conversation with people as a visual thinker, um, how do you have fidelity around how you uh, do your work and how you reflect what you're hearing from somebody else, all those important nuances to the role, to the responsibility, again, not as narrowly defined as a graphic facilitator or graphic recorder, but um, all these things, again, this is the complexity of the work. And again, this is why I wanna break down that complexity into learnable pieces. And I'm really thankful for the number of times people say, oh my gosh, you're really good at that. <laughs> Again, that's one of the highest compliments I can get, and I will take it. Thank you. Um, so I just um, kind of lost it a little bit. It's okay. Uh, again, it's the idea that I want to give you my experience. I want to share my experience so you can do the best work for yourself. And because we need these skills, we need these skills out in the world. Things are only getting more complex. Things are, you know, VUCA. Things are only getting more volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. And visual thinking, these visual tools are absolutely fantastic at helping you tackle all of that. So that's a little bit more about learning and copying and all that good stuff. And I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.